All right, today I'm going to show you how we measure airflow on a single return air grill or double return air grill system using a vane anemometer. A vane anemometer is probably the best tool to use for this job because it doesn't require any density correction. It takes a direct measurement of flow, so there's, there's no uh, uh, indirect measurement made, and it's going to give us very accurate results. When we use a vane anemometer, the first thing we need to do is we need to set the anemometer up. So we're going to press the, the button on, turn the piece of equipment on, and we want to make sure that we're set for feet per minute and degrees Fahrenheit. In the user's manual, it tells you typically how to set up those parameters so we're not going to spend a lot of time on the actual setup to get it to the uh, standard English units. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to press the hold the hold key. That's going to get you into a deep menu. And when you get into the deep menu, it's either going to come up with factor, which you're going to want to turn factor off if it comes up factor, or it's going to come up like this one did, right in square inches. Either way, the hold key will toggle you through the entire deep menu, factor, on, unit, reset, and back uh, to change any of those parameters. So I'm going to press and hold the hold key here and I'm going to get into the square inches of grill. Next step is to actually measure the free open, the open area of grill here, which this grill is 19 and a half by 19 and a half. All right, what we want to actually measure is the opening of the grill, not the whole exterior, just the opening that we're going to traverse. So I'm going to take a calculator here and 19.5 times 19.5 is 380.2 inches. Using the up and down arrow keys here, I can run this up or down and I'm going to run this back up to 380.2 and now I'm just going to press the hold key again to lock that in. Now, in this screen I want to make sure that I don't have any nomenclature says min, max, or hold. This is the main measurement screen, and this vane is uh, a very precision instrument. It's actually detecting the airflow from this grill already. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to enter a mean timed average mode, and I'm going to press the mean key two times, and that's going to bring up a timer. And just turn on the backlight here so it's a little easier to see. Now, even though the, the instrument is making a measurement, it's not recording that measurement. You can see the timer is off here, and if I hit Right now I'm reading FPM, feet per minute, if you would zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to hit the volume key and I'm going to change that to CFM, which is actually the calculated uh, volume that the vein's going to see. So this key will just toggle between those, temperature, feet per minute, and volume. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this anemometer up to the grill about a half an inch away. I'm going to hold this about a half an inch away, and I'm going to keep my finger here. You can see this finger uh, is a guide to keep it about half an inch away from the grill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the upper corner of the grill. You can see I'm only over the grill here, and I'm going to push the hold key, which starts the timer. At the same time, I'm going to move the anemometer across the grill, keeping it again about half an inch away, a quarter inch away from the grill. When I get to the corner, I drop down and I just keep working my way across. You're going to see the vane speed up and slow down, which is normal, because the airflow through the entire grill is not laminar or even. So we're just going to keep moving this across until we get what we consider is a good traverse or average across the grill. And I'm going to hit the hold key again, and that pauses the measurement. And again, you can see it's recording data, or it's, it's uh, measuring data, but it's not recording anything because the timer stopped. Now, if I had a second grill, like this is a dual return, then all I would do is, while well, the instrument's paused, I'd go to the next grill, restart the time, and traverse the next grill again. However, what I would do is I'd double my area that I input initially. So I'd take 300, and, and I think it was 380, and I double that, double that reading, 380.25 times 2, so it would be 760 inches squared, and then it would average the both grills together. Now that I've got the reading here, what I want to do, go ahead and zoom in again for me, is I'm going to hit the mean key. And mean is going to tell me the average airflow for, what I, for, the, uh, for this grill, which came out to be 
0.9 CFM, almost exactly 800, which is enough airflow for a two-ton system. And that's about all you have to do to make this thing work. If we hit the mean key again, it's going to clear that reading out, and we hit it two more times to get back to the timer, and we could remake the same measurement. So I'm going to show you one more time here.